A 2300 kilogram car travels in a straight line on a horizontal road. The relationship between the car's velocity and the time are given by the graph over here. What is the car's acceleration during the first 20 seconds? What is the net force applied by the engine to the car during the first 20 seconds? And then we're just going to repeat it for different time intervals, right? We did 0 to 20. That's what they mean by the first 20. Then we did 20 to 40 and then 40 to 50. And we're going to use this graph. What is the car's acceleration during the first 20 seconds? Well, first, let's draw a vertical line at t equals 20 seconds and record the velocity. So they don't give us a lot of data on this graph, but that's okay. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. And it looks, let's look at the velocity, same type of scale, 10, 20, 30, and then 40. What's the velocity at time 20? Well, we have our little red line here, then we go across here. I well, probably could have drawn a straight line, but that's okay, it's 20. So the velocity is 20 meters per second. At time zero, it's zero meters per second. So we use the definition of acceleration, which is the change in velocity over the change in time. So we have 20 minus zero over 20 minus zero. And the units in the top are meters per second, the bottom are seconds. So we have an acceleration of one meters per second squared. What did we actually do on the previous slide? Well, we took 20 minus zero divided by 20 minus zero. What is that? We found the slope of the line, didn't we, right? That's delta y over delta x. Now, I know we're changing the axes. Here, we don't have y. We have velocity and we have time, but mathematically, it's equivalent. So we just showed that the slope of a line on a velocity time graph, you always talk about the y-axis first, is also equal to the acceleration of the object, in this case, a car. So if we just do the slope, which equals rise over run, well, the rise is 20 minus 0, and the run is, coincidentally, 20 minus 0. You divide them, that's 1. So that's just the slope, without regard to any physical quantities here. But we just said that the slope of a line on a velocity time graph equals the acceleration of the object. So the acceleration is 1 meters per second squared. What is the net force applied by the engine during the first 20 seconds? That's just F equals MA. We have the mass of the car, and we have the acceleration. We multiply them together, we get 2300 newtons. Now we need the car's acceleration from 20 to 40 seconds. So we'll do the formal method, then we'll show you all the shortcuts. Here's our 20 second point. Here's our 40 second point. If we use delta v over delta t, we have the final velocity minus initial and the final time minus the initial time. Well, 20 minus 20 is zero, so there is zero acceleration. Two other methods. The velocity doesn't change, right? It starts at 20, stays at 20. So if the velocity is constant, the acceleration is zero. And the other way, if you just looked at that graph and were asked for the slope of the line from here to here, well, since it's horizontal, immediately, you would, hopefully, you would say the slope is zero. So in any case, the acceleration is zero meters per second squared. What is the net force applied by the engine from 20 to 40 seconds? Well, there's no acceleration. So if there's no acceleration, there's no force. And we'll just show it equation-wise anyway. Newton, F equals MA. Here's the mass of the car, the acceleration is zero, the force is zero. What is the car's acceleration from 40 seconds to 50 seconds? Well, let's draw a vertical line at 40 seconds here and record the velocity. Well, the velocity starts at 20 meters per second and what does it finish? At zero. So we do our calculation, delta V over delta T, our final velocity is zero, Initial is 20. Time goes from 40 seconds to 50. 50 is our final. 40 is our initial. We divide out and we get a negative acceleration, negative 2 meters per second squared. And what do you notice about the slope of the line here? Is it positive or negative? Well, it's negative, which tracks with our acceleration calculated by delta V over delta T. Now calculate the force 
from 40 seconds to 50 seconds? Well, F is equal to ma. The mass is positive. The acceleration here is negative. So we get a negative force of 4,600 newtons, which means that the force has to be applied in this direction to the left. That's the negative side. So if the object, the car in this case, was moving here, right to the right, and you have a negative force, what happens? It slows down. Okay, it's, you've put the brakes on. When the slope of a line on a velocity time graph, remember the first word is the y-axis, second word is the x-axis, when that's positive, you have a positive acceleration. In this case, you're speeding up. Velocity is increasing. When the slope of the line is negative, the acceleration is negative. You're slowing down. And when the slope of the line is zero, the acceleration is zero. Horizontal lines, wherever you see them, they represent a constant velocity and a zero acceleration.